Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of these DIY tree ring prints that I've created for our master bedroom. Recently we had a large tree removed from the corner of our property and it wasn't until I saw the beautiful tree rings laying around that I went looking for inspiration and in how I could make use of some of this wood for around our home. So these are some of the inspiration pictures that inspired today's project and while I did save myself one of the larger trunk rings for a future DIY, I'm going to be using the smaller branch rings for this particular art project. So I've picked several rings of varying shapes but similar sizes and it's really important to let these dry out first. Now I did try and rush this process and ended up having my rings mostly all split from getting too hot too fast on a hot garage windowsill but I do still appreciate the look of them and want to get some prints done before they split any further. For the frames I picked up three A2 sized frames with an A3 match board option. This trio will be for our new master bedroom and I picked up some smaller square frames in the same wood tone which I'll use in our guest bathroom to create some continuity in art throughout the home. So to prepare the rings they first need sanding, you'll want to use a really coarse paper and I decided upon sanding the side which had the least chainsaw marks. This sanding process took much longer than expected and a little bit more elbow grease. The chainsaw grooves go much deeper than I expected and you do want to flatten these as much as possible for the best final prints. Then comes the fun but also scary part, you want to singe the wood, so basically what you're trying to do here is burn the top layer of the rings and this burns away the soft wood and makes the rings of the wood more prominent for applying your paint. For this we used a gas torch which made much faster work than the creme brulee torch I had originally planned on using. You then want to brush away any soot, a wire brush is recommended here but a plastic half brush worked just fine and following that you want to come in with a pure isopropyl alcohol and rub down the tops. Now I'm not exactly sure what this step does but it does do something because it made the rings and grooves quite drastically more noticeable. For this project I purchased some canvas art paper to do the prints on. It's a heavyweight textured art painter that paint won't bleed through. I picked up a 12 sheet pad for around $5 from Kmart and I'm also just using some cheap Kmart acrylic paint that was around $2 a tube and I only ended up using one tube of paint for the whole 12 paper sheets. I've seen others use black ink but for me the acrylic paint worked just fine. The printing itself was a learning curve as I went. I learnt quickly that you want to apply a heavy amount of paint and here I've used a mini foam roller. Get the paper straight on top of the wood ring, give it a quick roll with a second dry roller making sure you hit every inch of the surface and get that paper off again as quickly as possible. I 
I did have some fails along the way. You can see here my very first attempt, I didn't apply enough paint and the print came out really faded. This one, too much paint along with too much pressure. And this one I thought would be a really interesting ring to use because of the double hearts, but it kind of just looks like a weird jelly bean. And this one I'd attempted to use the back side of a spoon to smooth over the paper and you can see my hand movements around the edge. But these ones, these ones were the ones to make it to the final drying stage. After drying I had some wiggle room with the smaller square frames for where I wanted to place the print within the mat board so I was having a play around with positioning. I had initially chosen these two prints to use but you'll see in the final shot I ended up switching that bottom one out at the last minute as I hadn't realised quite how deep the chainsaw marks were still on this one and I'm really happy I ended up changing my mind. The trio for the master bedroom turned out really well. I feel like the size but varying shapes really complement each other. Uh, I'd initially planned to spray these bedroom um, frames gold, but I think I'll decide for sure once I see them in our new space because the current frame uh, colour matches the hard flooring I've chosen and also the side table lamps on our bedside tables. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching this process. I will talk to you next project.